Hi everyone, I'm Nicole with fitnessblender.com and today I have your body weight strength with HIIT burnout sets. We're gonna get a total body workout in under 30 minutes today. For the format, we have four supersets, two exercises a piece. Our first exercise will always be strength-based and completed for 60 seconds. We'll then have 15 seconds to rest and transition before completing exercise two for 30 seconds. That will be our HIIT exercise. We'll complete two rounds per superset. For equipment today, you don't need anything at all, so you can do this without equipment. Some optional things you might like to have on hand are a mat for some of our floor work and dumbbells if you wanna step up the challenge. Modifications are provided and your warm up and cool down are included. Let's get started. Our warm up is four minutes long, eight exercises, 30 seconds a piece, back to back. Let me get my timer started and we will kick it off with exercise one, which is hip opener. So just standing in the center of your space, feet together, nice and tall, shoulders relaxed. You can place your hands on your hips if you'd like. We're gonna take knee up to hip height, take it out to the side, tap it down, and bring it back the same exact way. So alternating sides, really trying to just open up that hip, getting a nice full range of motion here, really lubricating that ball and socket joint with our hips. So we do have some lower body in store for us today, of course. Keep alternating. Next up, we have standing jackknife. So arms up overhead, we're gonna take opposite hand towards opposite leg. So just reach as far as you can here, no pressure to reach all the way to the toe if that's not for you. Keeping that spine up nice and tall, no crunching forward here, but you can activate your hip and your core to engage and bring that leg up. Good, keep going opposite hand, opposite leg. Perfect, two torso twists with the knee, feet hip distance apart, hands in front, twist, twist, opposite knee, twist, twist, opposite knee. Getting that little rotation going in the spine here, as well as forcing you to start engaging your core. So I want you to think about that as you lift that knee, think about your core, your abdominal muscles engaging. Squat and press is up next, feet hip distance apart, hands in front. We're gonna sit back in that squat, come right up overhead. Squat and press. Obviously without weight here, totally fine. Getting that upper body, the shoulders involved. If you wanna take this up a notch, you come up under those toes. So sink deep in that squat, sink deep in those heels, and shoot up onto those toes at the top. Keep that chest up and open. Walk down, start at the edge of your space, take those hands to the floor, walk it out to a plank position, and walk it all the way back up. Stand tall at the top. So getting a nice hamstring stretch to start, engaging core and shoulders, walking it back up. If you need a little knee bend here, totally fine, you can do that. Try to keep them as straight as your body will allow you. Next up, spider lunge with rotation. We're gonna stay in that high plank. Take right foot outside, right hand, bring it flat, and start to twist towards that side. Close it up, foot back, switch, and open. So we're always turning and opening our shoulders in the direction of that front leg. Back leg stays straight, though you can bend that knee if that feels better to you, and bring that knee to the floor. Bring it up to your feet. Last couple exercises, we've got quick feet. Bring that heart rate up right here. We do have some high impact work today. However, there will always be modifications. So if you'd like to make this one low impact, tap, 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 all right? Quick feet front to back, get those arms involved. We've got one more exercise to finish out this warm up. And butt kickers. Here we go. Again, getting those arms involved, bringing those heels up towards your butt here, keeping your core engaged to keep your body, upper body up nice and tall. 
pump those arms. Last 15 seconds, if you have it in you, speed it up just a little bit. Last few seconds. And done with our warm up. Excellent job. Inhale, exhale, let that heart rate stabilize for just a few seconds here while I explain what we're heading into. So, as stated from the beginning, we have four different supersets. We're gonna head into superset one first. We have two exercises. Our first exercise will always be strength based, 60 seconds long. We'll rest a transition for 15 seconds, followed by exercise number two for 30 seconds. This is our hit exercise where we'll wanna push, all right? Two rounds per superset. Let me get my timer adjusted here and we'll get started. 10 seconds, here we go. We're gonna kick this off with squats, okay? So simple, to the point, feet hip distance apart. Here we go, sit your hips back into your heels, keep your chest up nice and tall. Keep in mind, we're doing these for a minute, so we're gonna be able to get a lot of reps just going at a normal pace. So I don't want you to be going rapid fire here, at least not until our hit exercise. And note that you can also hold a dumbbell or dumbbells in front if you'd like to step up the challenge a little bit today. Totally up to you, how you're feeling, what you have access to. Good. Drop it low. Try to get to about 90 degrees with those knees, keeping your chest up and spine long. Inhale down, exhale up. Last few seconds here. Excellent. 15 seconds to rest, transition, shake out those legs. We have our hit exercise for 30 seconds coming at you. Split jumps, all right? So we've got two lower body exercises this round. It's gonna be fun. For our full split jump, Getting that lunge position, knees at 90 degrees, land nice and softly, switch and switch. If you wanna take this down a notch, we can stop in the middle and switch, middle and switch. I really like this option on days where my legs are fatiguing really fast. And you also have the option to reverse lunge, reverse lunge. So you choose what works best for you today. And rest, shake it out. Woo, all right, one round down, one to go for those two exercises. So we just have about 20 seconds to continue to rest here, shake out those legs. We'll head back into squats up next. So feel free if you're grabbing any weights, grab them. If you're sticking body weight with me, just stand up nice and tall right here. Here we go. Squats, 60 seconds. Focus on form, focus on control, focus on pushing your floor away as you stand up. That's gonna help you engage your glutes so much more than just going through the motions. In these long rounds, I also like to focus on the breathing a little bit more than we would with our short intervals. So again, inhale down, exhale up. Exhaling on that exertion. Really good practice to get into. Almost there. Last eh, about 10 seconds. Keep that chest up, heels flat, toes loose, and rest. Good. Shake it out for a few seconds, getting ready to head into those split jumps. Remember, I gave you three different options, so you choose what works best for you for that split jump. Woo, here we go. I'm gonna do that meet in the middle one this time, because in all honesty, the day before filming this, I did a pretty tough lower body workout, so I am just gonna meet myself more on that today, which I also encourage to you all the time. 
Meet yourself where you're at on that day. Here we go. Make sure those knees are aligned in front. And rest. Good. All right, tap it out. We've got 30 seconds to rest before we transition into our second superset. So same time intervals, two new exercises coming your way. These are gonna be a little more floor based, so you have the option for a mat if you want it. I'm gonna keep mine out of the way. We have first walk down push-ups. That is our long 60 second interval. So find yourself at the edge of your space with some room in front. Here we go. We're gonna take those hands down to the floor, walk it out, push up, walk it back up, stand up tall. Option to come down to those knees. And if you wanna do these a little quicker, maybe get a little more, more push-ups in, you can do that push-up, walk those hands back up to the feet, but not return all the way up to standing. Just walk it directly back out to that plank. Keep that core engaged, sending those elbows to the back corners of the room on that push-up. You've got this last few seconds. Here we go. And rest. Great job. Again, 15 seconds to rest and transition. We're staying on the floor for mountain climbers. Good old mountain climbers, right? A little core, a little shoulder work. Let's set it up. High plank position. Drive those knees in towards the chest. Keep that back nice and flat. Hips low. Shoulders over the wrists. If you have wrist issues here, coming up onto those fists can really help. Also the option to slow it down and tap, tap, tap. Any way you choose is perfect. Keep it up. And rest, good. Shake out those wrists for a little bit, maybe roll them out. We have 30 seconds. We repeat those one more time and then guess what? We had a water break and we're at our halfway point. So let's push through this next minute and a half or so. Walk down push-ups coming your way in just a few seconds. Shake it out, breathe. Whoo! Find that edge of your space. Let's get to it. Walk it out. Find that push-up that works for you, knees, toes. Working that entire upper body, that core. Push-ups are so comprehensive. That's why we have them in a lot of our routines. You've got back, you've got chest, you've got shoulders, triceps, so good. And core, not to mention. Beautiful job. We have, we're, we've, we're over that halfway point at this point. Under 20 seconds left. See what you can do. If at any point you need to modify, do that. Try not to stop, just modify for a bit and dive back in. Woo! One more push up. Awesome. Relax, you can hang out on the floor with me. Rolling out those wrists for a few seconds here. Gearing up for those mountain climbers. Last set and water break is coming your way. Here we go. Again, hips low, core engaged, shoulders over the wrists, nice and strong. Tap or run it out. Last few seconds, hang in there with me. You've got this. and rest. Excellent job. Shake it out. Here's your chance. As promised, grab yourself some water. We're at our halfway point. We'll come back, finish out our next two supersets coming up next. Grab some water. I'll see you right back here.
Welcome back. We are ready to head into the second half of this workout. And if you're anything like me, you've already worked up a sweat already. So halfway point, let's get into superset number three. We have two new exercises, same time intervals of, as we have been working with, okay? So we are back to lower body focus on this next round. Let me get my timer started and I'll show you what's up next. Okay, clock lunges. So what I want you to do is start in the center of your space with some room around you, like a clock around you. We're gonna start with that right leg, set forward front lunge, bring it back center, right leg, side lunge, back center, right leg, back lunge, center, left leg, reverse, side, front, and switch, right leg, front, so now you get the point. So we're just going in a clock fashion here, front side, reverse lunge, and kind of switching legs at that six o'clock and 12 o'clock point. Keep your shoulders up nice and tall. Oops. Really make sure you're sinking deep into the heel. Doing so good. Keep going around that clock. Nice deep lunges. Or maybe it's more of a shallow lunge if your knees aren't loving it. You can make it your own today. Last few seconds. And rest. Good. Tap it out. 15 seconds. We have our hit lower body exercise to complement this one. Squat pivot. So I want you to go ahead and bring your feet hip distance apart. Here we go. We're going to sit back. Squat. When we come up, my shoulders are going to stay facing front, but my hips are going to turn. Back center, up twist. So we're just alternating sides. But again, shoulders always facing me, if you're facing me. Now, if this high impact version isn't for you, squat, open, squat, open. All right, you choose. And rest, good. Shake out those legs, woo, okay. One round down, one to go. Same exercises, so we are heading back to those clock lunges. Breathe it out, no lower, or yeah, lower body. Tends to get the heart rate up, got those large muscle groups. Needs lots of oxygen, so if your heart rate's up pretty high, I'm with you. Here we go, clock lunges, start in the center. Right leg front, right leg side lunge, sit into that heel, right leg reverse, switch legs. Go at a pace that feels good for you, whether that's with me, faster than me, slower than me, anything goes. Hands can just kind of be wherever feels natural to you, whether that's hips or right in front. Keep going around that clock. You've got this as many clocks as you can get in this last under 15 seconds. Rest up nice and tall. Here we go. Squat pivots one more time. 30 seconds. Let's give it what you got because we're not really coming back to lower body after this. So, get a little more core and upper body the, the final round. Squat pivot, sit back, pivot, pivot, pivot. Sink deep in that squat, deep in those heels. Chest stays up, spine stays long. You've got it. Keep it light on those toes if you are jumping. If you're not, again, open, open. Last 10, here we go. Stay with me. and rest, shake it out. Beautiful job. 30 seconds of rest here. I'm gonna get out my mat. This final super set, we have plank up downs and a squat thrust. So the plank up downs is gonna be more of our strength move. The squat thrust is our hit move. That is optional. Let's go ahead and meet me down on the floor here. 
high plank position. Here we go. We're going to drop right elbow down, left elbow down, right up, left up. Switch sides. Left, right, left, right. Always switching that lead arm every other time. If this option doesn't work for you, bring it down to the knees. I would rather have this than to see your core and your low back caving in. So really engage those abdominals. Down, down, up, up. And maybe you like to go between the two options. You can totally do that. Switching that lead arm every other time. Last 10. Keep those hips nice and stable as you make those transitions. Perfect. Knees down, sit back over the heels briefly. 15 seconds. Heading into a squat thrust. This is our hip move. I guess there's a little bit of lower body, so hopefully I didn't lie to you too much before. Woo. Find your plank. Here we go, jump it up. Stay low in that squat, hands come up, back and up, back and up. So we're holding that squat position. Note, you can also step, 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 okay? You choose, jump or step, what's right for you today? Rest, good. 30 seconds to breathe, maybe walk it off, maybe you're on the floor, walk around, do what you gotta do, shake it out. One more round, you guys, that is it. We have plank up downs for 60 seconds, and we have squat thrust for 30 seconds, followed by our cool down, which will be really, really nice. So, meet me back down, plank up downs to start, here we go, start with the lead arm, and then switch sides. Again, keeping those hips nice and stable, even if that means having to slow down the movement, or drop to the knees. If you feel like your core and your hips are just out of control, and wobbly, I want you to come down to those knees. Still engaging the shoulders and the triceps to push your body up into that high plank. Well over that halfway point here. Find what works for you. 20 seconds left. Strong and stable. You're there. and rest. Whew. Okay, this is it. Squat thrusters, 30 seconds. Give me what you got. This is our last bit of work today. All right, here we go. Jump or step. Just remember staying low in that squat as you lift that chest up and elongate that spine. Find the challenge that works for you for this time frame. Under 10 seconds. Here we go. And rest. Let me get this timer stopped here quick. Way to work. Breathe, breathe. Just tap side to side if you are on your feet. Breathe in, breathe out. I know that heart rate is up there. So what I want you to do quick is to grab yourself some water, meet me back on your mat, on the floor, then we'll head into our cool down. Welcome back from your water break. Go ahead and meet me down on your mat. We're gonna first start off in a child's pose position. So I want you to take your knees about as wide as a yoga mat. 
can visualize it if you don't have one. Sit your hips back over your heels. Walk your hands out on the mat. Really elongating those arms, resting the forehead on the mat or floor. From here, just breathe, inhale, exhale. Maybe shifting your weight from hip to hip, side to side, feeling a nice deep stretch through the shoulder, through the lower back. Perfect. From here, I want you to go ahead and lie down on your back. We're going into a spinal twist on the right side. So lying all the way down flat, pull in that right leg, take your left hand on the outside of that right knee and draw it across your body. We're gonna take that right arm out on the floor, maybe looking in the direction of that right arm, allowing gravity to melt your body into the floor here. So it shouldn't be forced. Inhaling and then exhaling to just release any tension, especially in that spine. Jumping tends to, to do that. So it's nice to kind of bring out that spine after a higher impact workout. Perfect. From here, we're going to stay lying on our left side. That left arm can be here for support. We're gonna slightly bend that bottom leg, but take that right leg, pull up on that foot for a quad stretch. So do whatever you need to do with that bottom leg so you can feel nice and stable. Kind of side lying quad stretch. Should be feeling a nice stretch through the front of your right leg, hip down to the knee. One more breath here, and then moving into an oblique and shoulder rotation. So from here, we're gonna stay on the side, so left hand on the floor, um, left knee on the floor, right leg is out nice and straight. From here, we're gonna take that right arm up and over, nice big stretch through the side of the body, through the obliques. And from here, we're gonna get two shoulder rotations towards that back wall, down and around down and around, switch directions, bring it to the front. So think nice big range of motions while still increasing the length in the side of your body. Switch every two. Two more the other direction, finish with those. And rest, perfect. Let's go ahead and repeat that series on the left side. So I'm gonna switch sides on my mat so it, I can still face you. Come down to your back, bringing that left knee in towards the chest, right leg is out long, right hand on the outside of the left knee. Go ahead and keep that knee at about 90 degrees, pull it across your body. Left arm is outstretched on the other side, looking out towards that left hand. And again, nice, Big cleansing inhale with an exhale to release. Melting your body into the floor. Feels so good. One more breath. And rest. Take it into that sideline quad stretch. So we're gonna Keep our right side towards the floor. Left leg is on top here, pulling in on that foot. Finding that quad stretch, your hip and quad stretch, I should say. You may need to adjust, again, that bottom leg to find the support that works for you so you're not wobbling front to back here. I like just a little bend, helps. Good, hold for one more breath. Perfect, release. We're gonna take it to that oblique and shoulder stretch on the other side, or left side. So right hand is on the floor, right arm is outstretched, right knee on the floor, left leg stretched out nice and long, hips up, reach overhead, nice stretch through the side body, through the oblique. Let's get those shoulder rotations. Go ahead and start going back towards that back wall, down and around, two times, and switch directions. 
This has got to be one of my favorites lately. Just feels really good and different. Let's do two more, whichever direction is next for you. And when you're done, find a seat on the floor. Go ahead and face me or whichever direction feels good. We've got a wide leg hamstring stretch to finish with today. So no pressure on the width that you're going. Just find what feels natural to you. So we're gonna start up nice and tall spine here. Walk those hands out in the middle as far as you can to where you're feeling a stretch equally in both legs without curling over, closing up that chest. So important here to stay up tall. Good, now go ahead and allow yourself to fold into it, bringing those elbows to the floor, rounding out that spine just a little bit. Let's play with the right side, walking those hands towards that right side a little bit. Holding for a couple breaths. Walking those hands to the left side. And back center. Perfect. You did amazing today. Thank you so much for joining me for this total body, body weight strength and hip burnout workout. So glad you joined me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Workout complete.